Kim. Hey, everybody. Hey, Dana. Hi, Velma. Glad to see everybody coming on today. Hi, Clarice. show today. Got us some red snapper. We're going to make us some uh, tartar sauce. It's going to be good today. I can't wait. Busy, busy, bee. We've been busy all morning getting ready. on today. My cameraman's on duty today, y'all. I, I, I texted to you so you would have it from the last show. But I always put the recipe right at the top of the comment, okay, if you miss it. guys for tuning in and welcome to the Taste of Koshi. Today we're going to be cooking the Koshi Red Snapper. All fish is all fish to me. So this seasoning will go with all your fish. And you can add a little, take a little away, however you like on the flavor. This is just a basic. If you don't like it too hot, remove the cayenne. If you like it hotter, we're going to add more. We got our grease heating up here. And I'm going to show you our grease. I use the peanut oil when I'm frying grease. About two cups to do it. Okay. And then we'll come over here. This is our red snapper. And we're going to do that by the sink. These are our shrimp. Because I always like to do a 
a double when we do stuff because you know shrimp and fish go together we got our cornmeal a flour we have over here our lemon pepper our slap your mama our uh, Old Bay, our garlic powder, our onion powder, our paprika, our Laurie seasoning salt. And then we pepper and salt to taste. And then for our tartar sauce, we have our mayonnaise, our dill pickles. I've already chopped them up in the Quasin Art for us. We also have our onions, which I chopped up in the Quasin Art. We have our fresh dill, a little bit of sugar, and some lemon juice, freshly squeezed. So let's get started. I'm gonna grab me some gloves. Cause you know when we work with meat or fish, we gotta, you know, make sure that we do it right and put some gloves on. Cause we don't wanna cross contaminate anything. And also, since I'll be over here working on the chopping block and by the sink for a minute, I wanna pull out my fish. Bring this and set this out of my way for a minute. So if you guys come over here, I like this because this helps me out. It gives me my vegetables, my fish, my chicken, and my meat. Right? And then whenever I work on the chopping block, because we don't want any slippage, I always wet me out a paper, paper towel. I'm gonna shake it out here and I put it up here on my block because I don't want nothing slipping. Then I'm gonna pull out my fish here and set it up here. And you see that? Nothing slips. Now, if we didn't have that on here, this board, see that? So, this is a good tip for everybody. You know, just so you don't cut your fingers because we don't want you to cut your fingers, okay? I'm gonna go get that fish. Now, I'm gonna take my fish and I'm gonna put it right down here in my strainer. Put that down, okay? Um, I, what I like to do is I like to rinse my, my, I've already cleaned my shrimp. See, I've debanged them, see that? And what you could do is you could run a fork right through it, okay? You don't have to do a knife or whatever. But what I like to do is I like to rinse my fish off really good on both sides. And I also like to feel for bones. Because you know they say filet? And then look at there. We got bones. You're always going to have some bones. See them? So then I get my tweezers. And these are my kitchen tweezers. And I go in here and I feel for the bone. And then once I find that bone, I pull it out. Cause I don't, I don't want no bones in my fish. And they're hard, you just gotta yank them. Okay, see that? Look at that y'all. See that bone? I'm gonna drop that down over here. And I'm gonna keep feeling. And you can usually see them. Cause see how it's raised up right here? Cause you don't want to give your kids fish and then it has some bones in it and they choke on it. But if that just happens to happen, make sure you give them bread, okay? Cause that bread will take that bone and, and make it so they can swallow it without it cut, cutting up their esophagus, okay? All right. Come on back in here, Dad. Back in here. Okay, so now that we've got our bones out of our fish, I'm gonna rinse this. I like to take my onion, I mean uh, my uh, lemon, and I like to squeeze it on my fish. And I like to squeeze it on this side. That just helps the fish to smell nice and clean. And I do the same thing with my shrimp. And I just give them a little lemon bath, okay? And then I wanna leave the tails on my fish. So that's why I didn't pull them off because I wanted to show you how to do that. So you're gonna come here and take this like that and fold it over. 
Then you're gonna come to the other side, hold this here, and pull this off. And then once you got that done, then you're just gonna pull the legs off like that, see? And then you still have your, your tail on your fish. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Okay. Pull it off right there, roll it over. Then you can come over here and pull it over right there. I know I'm wasting water, isn't that awful? I shouldn't do that. Make sure it's cleaned out good and rinse it off. Okay, so now we've deboned our fish. We've cleaned it and I'm gonna cut it. See there? And if you wanna keep yours whole, you can. I just like to cut mine. and if you want to use it you can if you do not you don't have to but I after I clean my fish I'll soak it in some seltzer water okay it can be flavored or it doesn't have to be it's up to you because what that does it puts a little air puts a little air in there and so when you fry it it comes out crispy Okay, let's go back over here. All right. Now, I'm going to get me a bag. Now, you can get a bag or you can do it in a bowl. I like to do mine in a bag. So, I got my bag and I'm going to dump in all of my ingredients. Just like this. And I find this works best for me because then I can get everything and I want to get everything covered, okay? So we just get it all dumped in here, just like that. Y'all know I'm a dumper, y'all. I'm a dumper. I love to dump. Then I'm going to zip this up and I'm going to mix it up real good. Next. At home, and I do, you can take your glove off and taste your seasoning and make sure it's okay, okay? If it's stuff for you. If not, add a little more of this, a little more of that. You work it to how you like it, okay? And then I'm gonna open this back up. I'm gonna give myself some cracked pepper in here. I'm gonna squeeze it and crack away. I like fresh cracked paper. It just has a different taste when you have uh, fresh cracked pepper. I don't need a lot, just a little. Shake it back up. Now, our grease has been getting hot. We don't need to throw water in it. Come close. I don't want you to get burnt. You just stick that in there. You see it bubbling? See that bubbling? That tells you your grease is ready to go, okay? And I'm ready for it to go. Now what I do, usually, I'll put my shrimp first. Get them out the way. So I get them nice and dusted. Okay. I shake it off. And I put it in this pan. Let it cook. Look at there. Look at it go. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yummy, 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 y'all. We're gonna take our chopsticks, and I like using chopsticks, but if you don't have them, you can use whatever. And give it a little flip. 
Now I'm going to show you the difference because I want you guys to see. This is without the seltzer water. Okay? This is without the seltzer water. And this is with the seltzer water. You feel me? I'm doing seltzer water. But I just want you guys to see the difference. Okay? It tastes good either way. It's still gonna be crispy. It just won't be like that. That seltzer water is the trick, y'all. Let me take this and bring it up and set it over here. People don't give them secrets. I'm giving you that secret, okay? Now, if you have a lot of fish, which we normally do because you're, you're frying for a family, you're gonna take it right out the seltzer water, which we don't have, because we did do that, and I'm gonna show you the difference. And then you take your fish and you drop it down here like this, okay? And you gotta keep your grease clean, see? And you get that extra off. And then you just slide it in your pan. Okay? Slide it in your pan. And you can move this now. And then also, I'm going to take this away too. Get rid of those gloves down. We're gonna give that time to fry. Look at it go. Doesn't it sound yummy, you guys? Oh my goodness, it sounds so yummy. Look at that. Now for my fish, I like to take out my tongs, okay? So I can roll my fish over. There we go. Okay. And this will help your house from not smelling all oh, like fish when you when you uh, put your lemon on it and clean it good. I like to clean my meat good with, with chicken. You can clean your chicken with orange or you can clean it with lemons. It just makes it nice, okay? All right? All right, let's check on this fish. Get nice and golden on us. Now while this is doing this little thing, we're gonna come over here because we're gonna make our tartar sauce, okay? So this is our mayonnaise. Tartar sauce is very easy to make and I like it fresh. It has no preservatives in it when you make it. These are our pickles and they're dill pickles. And this is our onion. We're gonna drop that in there. Our lemon juice from our freshly squeezed lemon. A little bit of sugar. That helps with the tartness. And then we top up some fresh dill. And I'll show you what fresh dill looks like. So this is what your fresh dill looks like. See that? We're gonna give our fish one more flip and then we'll pull it out. And we're gonna stir this up. And that's all it is to making your tartar sauce. See that? Look at that. Now you have fresh tartar sauce. And don't worry if you make too much, it keeps really well. So I keep our tartar sauce right here in a jar. In a mason jar, see that? And it seals, so it locks in the freshness. 
See that? And then you have this. And it lasts just as long as the store one. Okay? But guess what? You know what you're putting in your tartar sauce. Right? So well, here we go. We're going to pull this fish out. Look at that. See that? And get our fish out. And I'm going to show you the difference. Now remember, this was not done with soda water, okay? Come on over here, Dad. Now, this fish, on the other hand, I've already plated it up for us, that and the shrimp, was done with the soda water first, okay? So let's set these on here so you can see the difference. I'm gonna set these here so you can see. See the coloring and the crispiness of it? But like I said, you can have it this way or you could do the salsa water and do it that way. It's up to you. We gotta get this plated up, y'all. tartar sauce right here and then this is ketchup and hot sauce because you know us we like hot sauce and ketchup with our fish and then I made us some sides and I'm gonna pull those out I made us some sides because I made these sides the other day because we wanted we wanted some good food you guys see that post? I made my daughter some fried corn. There it is. She wanted some soul food. I made her some collard greens. There they are with a turkey neck. Mm -hmm. mm. And then we had some yams. Yes, Lord, we have some yams. There they are, candied yams. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna have to do that on the show one day, you guys. So let's plate this food up, huh? So I got my little deal down here. And then I have my little sides there. And I think I'm gonna put, a, put this over here and this one over here. Dipping. And then I'm gonna get our fish. It don't matter which one. Since this is real hot, we'll just go ahead and get this one, huh? And put it on there. Then we'll get our shrimp. And we'll set them on there like this. Get our shrimp down here. Get our set our shrimp up like that. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Look at that. Look at that. And this is our red snapper and shrimp and our homemade tartar sauce. This was our show for today. What you think, y'all? What you think? What you think? Ooh, Allison, you hungry? Come and eat, baby. Mm-hmm. Let's have Papa taste it. That's that Papa taste. What you want? What you want, Dad? Do you want some? You want to dip it in some tartar sauce? Yes. Or you want to, or, or the hot sauce? Which one you want? Tartar sauce, real quick. Tartar sauce. Okay. You want the the the, the fried fish in tartar sauce? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. A nice dollop. A nice dollop on that. It's hot now. It's hot. You gotta blow it. Oh look! Look, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What you think? Mm. What you think? Is that good? Absolutely delicious, mm -hmm. sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Mm. 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 That's really good. 
And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip me a shrimp. Dip me a shrimp dip, let me take this one. I love that you guys support. Thank you for all the support. Hi, Martha. I really, really, really appreciate it. Hi, Santa. Mm. Remember, remember that trick is soda water, seltzer water, okay? The next time you guys want to fry it and you want a real deep crisp on it, soak your meat, your chicken, soak your fish in salsa water first, okay? And then put it on over into your dry, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. I really enjoyed you. Bye-bye till next Wednesday.